Hello everybody, my name is Bernie Johnson and you're watching PMP's all-star coverage of the Pokemon League season that is going down today. Hey man, yo man, that's why I tell these young guys today, keep your head up because you never know what's gonna happen. He started out two and nine. He had a sorry start to the beginning of the season. All right, everyone, I like to call attention to this year's all-star for Bread Show's team, the Garchomp, one of the only Pokemon he has with a positive KD ratio, spearheading the starting lineup with a muscle band and a dream. A real mixture of deadly speed and power. Hey man, yo man, we can't talk about his all-star without talking first about his rising star, Metagross, the Pokemon that we caught as a tiny Beldum in the last series. Who knew this on-screen capture would turn into this star that it is today? Equipped with an assault vest, Metagross bludgeons its attackers while being a resistant steel psychic type tank itself. Now as a coach, Kyle's game time decision needs a little bit of improvement, but his strategy and item allocation is up there with the upper ranks, no Demon Slayer. After a rough 2-9 start to the season that we had seen in the last episode, we thought all hope was lost, but this team right here went on an 18-21 run to finish out the All-Star break at 20-30 and, and reach rank 5 before being demoted to rank 4 later on in the season. Who knows Chuck, they may be able to think about playoffs if they get their act together at the second half of the season. Yo man, playoffs? Playoffs? More like play in. They're sitting right outside of the 10th seed and they're trying to, and they need a lot more pseudo legendaries to get the job done. But let's see what they can do. All right, everybody, that's it for the PMP All-Star break coverage of this year's Pokemon League season. Let's tune back into the Challenger to see how he finishes out in the second half of the season. Tune in at the end for the post-game pressers. Also, welcome to the Bread Show. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You know, every little thing helps the channel out a lot. Peace. All right. Uh. The jersey on it's the pokemon league right gotta get serious job's not done job's not done hey man y'all heard the analysis man gotta get to it gotta lock in for real uh my team has changed a lot visited a lot of shops got every held item that i could possibly get dust clops with the evia light super tank will with sleep talk rest nightshade nightshade does flat damage so we don't gotta worry about attack stat uh slack king yeah super killer Terrestrialized Giga Impact, that's what we're looking for there. Uh, also a little bit tanky itself. Dragonite, tanky, but really, what we really wanna know is about that attack. That attack stat is something crazy, pseudo legendary. Funny part is, is that slacking is almost like a legendary, not even like, slacking stats are crazy. It's just the fact that it attacks every once every two turns. Metagross, y'all saw me capture that last episode. Uh, bullet Punch always goes first, Super Clutch, Psychic, Meteor Mash, and then Earthquake whenever I'm going up against another Steel type, you know what I'm saying? Mimikyu, this is the new addition to the team, just caught him, he has absolutely zero uh, EVs, but I've been burned by a lot of them, so I decided to add one on my team. Got the Disguise ability, you already know what it is there. And then we got our all-star here, Guard Chomp. We hopping back in the Battle Stadium, we get into it, man. We get into it, man. He's only rank 5 for about a sniff. 20 and 30. 50 battles. You already know how it is, man. You already know what we do, man. Oh my gosh, his Pikachu has an Ash Ketchum hat on. What do you think he's going to lead with? This is like an Ash Ketchum team. All right, first game back from All-Star break. This is how we come in. What is he going to lead with? Let's hope he doesn't lead with Politoed. And we'll get Garchomp out there first. Then we'll have a Rising Star Metagross come in. I don't see a Pokemon on here that Slack King can't handle, but Mimikyu, not gonna lie, is gonna come in clutch, especially if we get in a bind with that Dragonite. Let's go, let's make this late season payoff push, man. 20 and 30, 82 games in a season. Everybody got so much swag. Oh, Pikachu, that's what we're talking about. Stellar, we, we added Stellar Terra Shards to Garchomp. I don't remember exactly what's the last thing y'all seen, but I've been playing a lot. I've been playing a lot. I've been locked in a lot. The veterans probably recognize some of my uh, type advantages. I mean, um, no, no, no. The veterans probably recognize some of my move sets. Yeah. Earthquake the Politoed is not going to do too much damage, but we just need... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That did way more than I thought it would. Let's get in here with the Bulldoze. Ice Beam? No worries. Didn't knock us out. Didn't do what you thought we was gonna do. Still up one. 
still up one. Doesn't matter if he has a Dragonite out next, we can one-shot both of his Pokemon. He shouldn't see another Pokemon other than Garchomp, even with the 25 HP. Oh, wait. His Pikachu might know Thunder, which is helped by Drizzle. But that shouldn't do anything because we're ground type. Outrage this Dragonite. Oh, no. I did not see that coming. That's okay. That is okay. Because we got a strategy for the Dragonite. And it's not Metagross. It's Mimikyu. So, with Mimikyu's Disguise Effect, the first move isn't going to do anything. So now, we know to get in the Swords Dance. So we can boost that attack before we go in. Wow. We can get in another Swords Dance. Now that Aqua Tail is missed. Oh no. Mirror Herb? I probably have one of those because I bought every item from the Deli Bird store you could possibly get. Oh no. Why is it fast? Okay, Dragonite's a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Alright. The rain stopped. You know what we have to go in with? Play rough. Aqua Tail probably going to miss. Let's go. Wrap this up. After two attack stats, a boost. I don't know how fast this Pikachu is, and that could be a problem. Shadow Claw 7100, 90, 90, 4100, but always goes first. You know what? I'm gonna go with the Shadow Sneak, just so that we know that we get an attack off. Metagross, I am not sure about his ability to tank it. Wow, Shadow Sneak for the win. 40 base power plus the 20 from the STAB. And we got our 21st win on the season. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to uh do five battles. We'll try to do five battles and see how well we do in five battles. Like Marvin Gay, let's get it on. Got a pretty well balanced, but well spread team. He's got an ice type, so we hope he won't lead with that. But seeing that I have two dragon types, he's probably going to lead with it. So we're going to start out with Metagross and hope that he doesn't lead off with Charizard. Mm -hmm. We want to know on the day. That's all that matters. Just forget the season record. One game at a time. Meow Scara. All right. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, wait. No, that is horrible. We're going to get off a bullet punch because I just want to get a move off because she's probably going to one hit KO me. Critical hit. That's what I'm talking about. Nice Slash is probably it for me. No, it's not. No, it's not. Metagross gets to fight another day. That's that's huge, Metagross. You're going to get knocked out, but it's okay. It's okay. Garchomp is the only Pokemon that makes sense in this situation. Hopefully, you're faster than a cat. Like, how useful would it be if Garchomp just had, like, Intimidate or something? Sandvale does nothing for me in this situation. May do something in double battles, I don't know, but we're gonna go in with the Dragon Claw. That's all we that's all we can do. No. No. It doesn't it doesn't knock me out, which is unexpected, but <sighs> we're gonna have to cover some ground. Should we go with Bulldoze? Who's our Pokemon? No, nah, Slacking is not gonna be faster anyways. Just go for the most damage you could possibly do, right? Let's go. You're faster than Garchomp? Garchomp got outsped twice in one battle. All right, Slack King. All right, dude. We need you, bro. We need you, Slack King. We don't need you slacking today. All right, come on. Giga impact this fool into another dimension. Doing all this so that he attacks first is no problem. I wish Slack King was more of a tank, though. I ain't gonna lie. Sacred Sword doesn't... Take me out. All right. Yeah, yeah, we saw that one coming. Not gonna lie, I don't think Mimic you would have fared better. So slacking, you're doing your job, man. This may be where the road ends. I am not going to lie to you, short. This may be where the road ends. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, Flare Blitz, yeah, she know what she doing. She know what she done. Yeah, it's over. Garchomp. 
He didn't carry your weight this time. All-Star got banged up all up and down the court, man. You can't win like that. All right, one and one. All of his Pokemon are super skinny. Okay, uh, he's probably gonna lead off with Zoroark and it's gonna act like it's something else. So what should we do in that situation? Not Mimikyu. Should we lead off with Metagross? He has Meowscar, so he probably shouldn't bring out Dusclops. Mimikyu might be the play. We'll bring him out again. And Revenge Killers can't go first, so. How much you wanna bet that that's Zoroark in, 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 in disguise? Cause I'm willing to bet a lot. Oh, but just in case it's not. Throat Chop. I don't think Zorak knows that move. Oh my gosh. Special Defense fell. Oh no, it's not a Zorak. I thought it was a Zorak in disguise. Alright, that's okay. We're gonna bullet punch this thing. Wrap this up. Metagross takes one for the team. Base stat 600. We already knew what was coming, man. We got a tank on our team. Oh, everybody has shiny Pokemon. He avoided the attack. But he's not that good of a competitive Pokemon. So I'm not going to bring him out, but still, oh, let's wrap this up. Let's see if we can get another Psychic in. Hydro Cannon might not kill. It does. Okay. 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 I don't even know the typing of this Pokemon all the way. I have no super effective moves. We're going to have to trust in the Muscle Band. We're going to have to trust in the Muscle Band plus the unnatural speed of Garchomp. And hopefully you're faster than whatever this is. Uh, he was one of the starters I didn't like. Oh, you have to recharge. And you're still faster than my guard chomp. That's the more alarming part. All right, it's 2-1. Can't blow this lead. Oh my gosh, another shiny. And it's a st like shiny starters. We're going to try to do as much damage as we can. Transformed into a fairy type. What is that? What? Oh no. Meowscar transformed into a fairy type out of nowhere. I thought starters only had the... I thought starters only had the boosting attack power in, in distress abilities. Now we have to pin this all on Mimikyu. Now is this Pokemon still going to be fairy? Look at this angle. Terrestrialize. Swords dance. Then I don't know what after that. So it's no longer fairy type. All right, Mimikyu, this is all on you. This is all on you, big dog. We might should have gone for damage because Meowscar is super fast, but somehow I still trust in Mimikyu, man. Flower trick, wow. The skies was busted, lost some HP. Swords dance, attack rose sharply. We set it up. We set it up perfectly. Or a shadow sneak. Let's see if we can shadow sneak for the win again. Oh no. We might be screwed. Critical hit. I promise you if it wasn't a critical hit, you weren't going down like that, Mimikyu. One and two. Oh my gosh. But it's okay. Gotta have short term memory. Oh my gosh. Short term memory. Uh... Reggie Gigas? Why is Reggie Gigas allowed to be in here? Oh no, that's so unfair. Reggie Gigas should not be allowed to be in here. That is so unfair. Oh my gosh, that is so unfair, bro. All right, battle number four. We want to go positive on this five game slate. So we can't lose any more games. We have an opportunity to do something great here. Earthquake does four times damage. Let's take the opportunity. Spiky Shield? Does that move have priority or are you just faster? I mean, Metagross isn't that fast, so. It does have the hidden ability to have his, uh, his, have his weight, which only helps with low kick. Oh, wow, that was really smart. It's, it's really smart to terrestrialize. Oh, and it just so happens to be a flying type. Of course you would make it a flying type to protect yourself against the ground moves, which you only figured out that I could use after using the spiky shield. Touche. All right, like I really don't like this Glamora. 
and he probably knows Acrobat too. All right, Metagross, lock in. We need a dub. We need a dub. Power Gem isn't going to do anything. You can tank that. Meteor Mash, boost that attack. Then we'll hit him with another Meteor Mash. Oh my gosh, Glamora is goaded. Maybe I should have one on my team. Red card? Oh my gosh. And of course, a ground type. Oh my god. Pointed stones and toxic debris, bro. I might have to add a Glamora to my team. But it's alright. We can't we can't go out like this. Hopefully you don't use spiky shield when you do. Like it's people like you that make the game not fun. It's people like you that make the game not fun. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? That's what all I'm trying to do out here. Is have fun. These cheesy ass trash you doing. There we go. So Spiky Shield does have priority. Cause I know Garchomp is faster than this thing. Oh my gosh. You shouldn't be able to poison a steel type, right? And Stealth Rock shouldn't blow Mimikyu's disguise, right? Okay. This Pokemon I think is pretty fast. I don't know if it's faster than Garchomp though. And Garchomp's EV's gotta be crazy right now. I can't check because uh, I don't know how, but I know it's got to be crazy. Oh my god. Not crazy enough. Alright, Metagross. Let's try to salvage what we have. Oh my gosh, man. Let's try to salvage what we have left, man. Every move is a critical hit. Can't believe this, man. Absolutely cannot believe this, man. Should we even do a Swords Dance? I don't think we should do a Swords Dance. We should just go straight for damage. Oh. And Surgical Strike is perfect for a Pokemon like Mimikyu. Uh, you blew through the disguise all in one go. I don't even know where to find that Pokemon. It's not even a Pokemon. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh, man. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh dual monster, bro. One in three, bro. Let's try to finish this on a good note, man. Two and two and two and three. Actually, no, nah, two and three is right where it puts me on the season. Don't it, it hasn't updated, so don't pay attention to the number of battles. But I don't know how to get better. I don't know how to get better. I'm not gonna let them get to my head, though. An opposing trainer has been found, more like an opposing victim. Dragapult is too fast for us. I already know that. We're gonna lead off with Metagross because I still believe in you. And we have a lot of type advantages and resistances in this next battle. Slacking, well, he's got two dragon types. So Mimikyu would actually make sense. Don't wanna spam these same three Pokemon, but it's like, I'm choosing the ones that I feel like make the most sense. And I feel like these make the most sense. Dusclop is cool, like it's tanky. It is tanky, it's super tanky, but it like nightshade is his only move that does damage and that does flat damage so it only does damage uh equal to the pokemon's level so it's like you know it really doesn't do much meteor mass let's see if we can boost this attack give me a reason to bring back guard knuckle on my team opponent wow oh wow very fun oh salt cure i forgot about salt cure it does more damage as a status effect than an actual move like, that shouldn't be allowed. Like, that should not be allowed. Just flat out. Like, how can you do more damage as a status effect with Drew? What you withdrawn for? Wait. This is super effective. Why'd you do that for? Because of the focus sash? Well, you must not have known that I have a move called Bullet Punch, which always goes first. Now this will be the perfect time to use Explosion, but we got rid of Explosion. So this will be the perfect time to use Bullet Punch, actually. Because Meow Scar is pretty fast. Good damage, good damage. That's all we needed. Transformed into a Dark type, great. Great, great. So is it just a Dark type now? You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be good to know. Knocked out the Assault Vest, thanks for 
Oh, Mimikyu would be perfect here. Mimikyu would be perfect here. Keep an eye out on this strat. Keep an eye out on this strat right here. Okay, Meowskar is really fast, so we're not going to outspeed it. So don't do Swords Dance because we're just going to get knocked out next move. Let's go straight for damage. Play rough. The Life Orb should be enough. Oh no, she knocked off my Life Orb. No problem. No Life Orb, no problem. Let's go. Play rough for the win. All right, Mimikyu's exposed. The disguise is exposed. And we still, oh wait, this is our last Pokemon and we still have a Terrestrialization. Shadow Sneak always goes first, but Garnuckle also can't really do that much damage. We'll hit him with another play rough. I mean, why not? Could also, no, don't miss. Garchomp, do not sell me. Garchomp, do not sell me. Boy, you better not sell me. You better be faster, and you better pack a punch. You better be faster, and you better pack a punch. Don't do all this for nothing, man. Oh, of course. If it's flying type. Okay, no, steal. Okay. Okay. And terrestrialization, as far as I know, does not boost defense. Unless you're Ogre Pond using the Rock Mask. Boom! Let's go. We started it off with a loss, I think? Or did we start off with a win? I don't know. We ended it off with a win. That's what matters. All right. Finished off two and three on this five game stretch. Let's go hit this post game presser. All right. Hello, everybody. I'll be taking questions now. So yeah, how does it feel for your sorry ass team to go two and three? Well, I mean, how do you think I feel about it? We came into All-Star break 20 and 30 on the season, and now over this five-game stretch, we've been two and three. So really on par, but we're really not trying to be on par. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to, we're trying to be upper echelon and make this playoff push, and I don't think we can do that two and three. And after a horrifying performance like this, where do you assign blame on this team? I mean, it's really on the All-Stars. We got to start at the head. You know what I'm saying? We got to start with Garchomp. He's got to be faster. He's got to be faster, and he's got to pack that punch. You know what I'm saying? So if not, we're going to have to find another speed demon. But I really like Garchomp, so I'm going to try to go with him for as long as I can. Was Metagross what you expected it to be? I mean, it couldn't have been. And as for our rising star Metagross, I don't know, man. We just we just need him to be more tanky. More tanky. That's You got to be able to take a hit, man. And the Assault Vest... It protects against special defense, but not everything is going to be special defense. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to mix in those physical defense attacks or the physical defense strategy. Looks like you need a sub. Who's going to be the third Pokemon um, on the rotation? In terms of the, in terms of the third Pokemon on the rotation, Dusclops has been pretty uh, uh, disappointing on the offensive end. He's nice off the bench, though, whenever you need him. So why not roll with Mimikyu late in the second half of the season? I want to see what I can do with this Mimikyu. We've only had five games with him. And I think uh, we've only used them in three of those games. So I think uh, in terms of in terms of the third Pokemon, Mimikyu might have that spot. Well, we might want to draft a Glamora. You know, we've been we've been looking at we've been looking at those. Uh, we, it's just a matter of adapting the strategies that have been used on us to get to this point. So Glamora might be the move. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Wait, no, I have a question. Wait. But in all seriousness, hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Bread Show. You are leaving the Bread Show, but there's more Bread Show where this is coming from because there's a lot more videos like these. Thank y'all. I just want to have to, I wanted to have fun with this. You know what I'm saying? I watched a lot of NBA and wanted to mix in a little bit NBA sports with the Pokemon because I felt like there were a lot of uh uh whatchamacallums, parallels. You feel me? Had a lot of fun with this video. Uh, got an idea, just wanted to run with it. So, yeah, hope y'all like it. Hope y'all liked it. Um, but y'all know what I'm going to say. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Really help the channel out a lot. Every little bit helps the channel out a lot. Let me know if y'all like this. Let me know if y'all like this. I was trying something new, so let me know if y'all like it.
Um, but yeah, spread love, give inspiration in all you do, and peace out. Welcome to the Crash Show. Take two. Yeah.